unfortunately, it looks like the bad weather. It might actually mess things up for the launch. But you know what? We've seen worse weather. And they've launched it, so who knows? Uh, but we are talking about some pretty nasty weather starting to move in from the Gulf of Mexico. It's an area of low pressure that will continue to ride and move right over the I-4 corridor by early tomorrow morning throughout the first half of the day. It is developing a cold front and a warm front associated with it. And because of that, we are anticipating some cold air behind this front once it clears by tomorrow afternoon. So this is one of the modeling. This is kind of a kind of a, a wide view of what we can see as this low moves on shore. You can see some of the heavier rain staying to the north and west, but as it moves over central Florida, depending on where that low tracks, will we will see either an increase or a decrease in the severe weather threat. So again, increasing rain chances they start tonight throughout first half of Tuesday, but once the front clears, it will do so pretty quickly by Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. Temperatures come midweek will be into the 60s for your daytime highs. Looking here at the live radar, though, we are dealing with plenty of rain, though, still moving in from the other side of the uh, of the peninsula here off the Atlantic. Heavy amounts of rain moving through Titusville, Merritt Island, Port St. John. You can see most of uh, southern Volusia County, most of Brevard County seeing some type of rain here from Palm Bay down through Val Grant Val Caria, Mico, as far south as Sebastian, seeing some moderate to heavy rain and some of that heavy rain already moving into parts of Osceola County at this hour. Most of this will start to die down a little bit and then we turn our eyes towards the other coast where we will watch that low start to move in. Because we have been seeing so much rain, Lisa mentioned uh, earlier in the show that they are starting to uh, bring down those water levels in some, spo in some spots there in Daytona Beach. We are anticipating a flood watch to continue until at least early tomorrow morning as we are anticipating about two to four inches of additional rain. Right now, though, we're in the mid 60s. We are watching a few scattered showers pushing further inland, and that will be the story throughout the next few hours. But then again, we will start to watch more of that uh, low bringing in more of those scattered showers. Here it is by about midnight on Tuesday. All of that scattered showers moving in from southwest to the northeast by about 8 o'clock. Good chance of rain across most of central Florida. A few more showers lingering till about 2 o'clock. And then we will start to gradually clear out as some of the scattered showers kind of pinwheel out of here. And those much cooler temperatures awaits us for Wednesday. The cold weather, though, won't stick around for Friday and into Christmas. As you can see, temperatures for the holiday in the mid to upper 70s. But at least we will see plenty of sunshine and looking mostly dry. If you ask me, better weather. Better weather across the country. Now let's check on your hour by hour forecast for tonight. Your 60. forecast is sponsored by Cash for Life from the Florida Lottery. 67 will be our overnight low. I forgot about that sponsor. For your highs for tomorrow, mid 70s, good chance of rain for the first half of the day. Now let's get results to the full seven day forecast and temperatures are going to be cool on Wednesday, then warming up as we head into the holiday. Back to you, Lisa. Candace, thank you.